What's up guys, here we go. Welcome to today's jailbreak update video. Unfortunately, we have some disappointing news to discuss. Now no, there's not going to be an iOS 12 jailbreak, even though there's been this major unified jailbreak me project that's been going on on Reddit and Twitter, and everyone's been raving about this, and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about here in a second. I originally wasn't even gonna do a video on this, but unfortunately there's been so much misinformation and inaccurate information floating around about this new unified jailbreak me project that I just had to make a brief video explaining exactly what it is what it means in the world of jailbreaking and why it's by no means the start of an iOS 12 jailbreak in fact it's almost the exact opposite not that it's the end of a jailbreak or it's not going to help out with the jailbreak but it's more so the final cherry on top of the jailbreak Sunday it's the last piece of the puzzle it's almost a bonus piece of the puzzle, but it's not the very first step or anything that's going to lead towards an iOS 12 jailbreak. It's something that we can utilize once a jailbreak utility has been derived for iOS 12. So as a preface to this video, yes, an iOS 12 jailbreak will come eventually, but it's not likely going to stem as a direct result of this news. Now, I want you guys to stay as updated as possible, and I just had to let you guys know there's a ton of misinformation floating around about this unified jailbreak me website people are saying it's going to lead towards an iOS 12 jailbreak and like I said in the intro that unfortunately is just not true so what exactly am I talking about let me just start off by showing you guys what was released and what's being discussed in its current state as of recording this video so I'm just gonna launch up Safari this is the project on GitHub and before when people were reporting on it this project actually was public you could visit the site right here at the top and actually go into it and take a look at what the user interface would look like now essentially this is a unified jailbreak me website if you guys have seen jailbreak me before it's something like this this is just some spam but essentially instead of downloading a utility to your iOS device you could actually just go to a website within Safari and click jailbreak so there would be no need to download an application deal with certificates or anything like that you could actually jailbreak directly from Safari and things would be all good now there has been jailbreak me sites for multiple versions of iOS in the past and that's what this user right here actually he is the developer um, he created this project to unify all these jailbreak me websites and so essentially if you had iOS 4 5 6 7, 8, all the way up to iOS 12, you could use this one site to jailbreak your iOS device so as long your, as your iOS version was supported essentially. Now if we go down right here under support, this is exactly what I'm talking about. For 32-bit devices, it's iOS 3.1.2 and up, all the way back to iOS 3 if you still had a device running that. That's pretty crazy. But as you guys can see for the later 64-bit iOS devices, it's 8.4.1 and up and in these ranges right here, including iOS 12. 12 eventually but again like I've been saying throughout this video this is just the cherry on top essentially there is no jailbreak for iOS 12 once a jailbreak utility is derived for iOS 12 they could then implement it into Safari and so if we go to support I'll show you guys exactly what I'm talking about the latest support is for iOS 11.3.1 and again the site's not even finished nothing actually works this is all just a concept this is why it's so ridiculous um, none of this is complete and and if you actually go to this site right now, it's no longer even public or being worked on publicly. You can't view it. Um, if you go to the developer's Twitter, any mention about this site or this project has been removed. I'm guessing so many users after a couple YouTubers made videos on this project, so many Twitter users hit this uh, developer up and was spamming him basically. And so I'm guessing he took any mention on his Twitter account or any other social media accounts down. He took the website down. Um, and the only thing remaining is the GitHub page to actually even know that this project existed in the past. So where did this project idea Idea even stem from? How is it even possible to get a WebKit jailbreak on iOS 12? Well, it all started way back when, when 
and Kei Chan, I don't know exactly how to pronounce his name, he retweeted uh, or just tweeted about this developer right here, creating a WebKit exploit for Safari that works all the way up to iOS 12.0.1. So this is actually some substantial news right here. Once a jailbreak utility is derived for iOS 12 and up to 12.0.1, hopefully, um, we might actually be getting a jailbreak me website. Jailbreak um, and utility is going to be super easy to jailbreak our devices once a jailbreak is created. But that brings me to my next point. We're not even in that stage yet. There is no information about a kernel level vulnerability. No one's written an exploit to, for it, basically. And furthermore, iOS 12.1 further complicates the iOS 12 jailbreak situation because all of the remount methods, the current ones at least, iOS 12.1 breaks it. So a new one will be required in order um, for us to be able to use Cydia and use tweaks on iOS um, even if we get kernel read and write access unfortunately we won't actually be able to launch any of the tweaks or anything like that um, on our devices without that remount so again if you guys are looking to jailbreak on iOS 12 if you're already on iOS 12 definitely stay on iOS 12.0.1 or below not only is this exploit but all of the other ones by Yu Ming and other developers they're targeting iOS 12.0.1 and below as iOS 12 1 in its current state um, is just causing a lot of issues essentially. So definitely downgrade if you're on iOS 12.1. If you're on iOS 11, really the choice is up to you if you want to upgrade or not. Um, the really, it, it's going to be months before we receive an iOS 12 jailbreak at the earliest because we're in such early stages. Um, like I said, we're really waiting for a kernel level exploit to be released that gives us root read and write access. That is the very first step. And like I said, then we need a remount fix for iOS 12.1 before we can actually get a jailbreak for that firmware. And once all of these exploits have been released, then someone has to come along like Coolstar or Pwned Own and actually chain them all together and put them into an end user utility um, that we're used to so we can actually jailbreak on our iOS devices. And finally, once all of that is said and done, then the news in today's video, then the, the project that this developer was working on, this unified jailbreak me, um, the iOS 12 jailbreak might actually be able to be ported to a Safari-based jailbreak that takes advantage of this exploit right here, which we just talked about. So that's essentially the gist. Um, I hope that explains a little bit of what this unified jailbreak me project is. It's not a jailbreak in itself. It's kind of the cherry on top of the jailbreak Sunday. It's going to be awesome and create a really seamless and easy end user jailbreak experience once an iOS 12 jailbreak has been derived and an end user utility is out there for the public. But unfortunately, we're nowhere near that stage and something like this is not going to lead to an iOS 12 jailbreak. Um, it's something that just is added on top of all the other work essentially. Anyway, wrapping things up, guys, I'd just like to remind everybody, if you're on iOS 12.1, definitely downgrade to iOS 12.0.1 before the signing window closes. iOS 12.1 has caused a lot of issues breaking the file system remount that we need to run tweaks and Cydia, so it's going to be longer for a jailbreak to be released for that firmware versus iOS 12.0.1. Um, so if you guys are on iOS 12.1, definitely downgrade. Now, if you're on iOS 11, really the choice to upgrade is up to you. One option you do have is to save your SHSH2 blobs, but I really wouldn't bank or rely on those working. Um, and really, if you upgrade now, it's up to you. There could be a jailbreak coming for iOS 11.4.1, but again, we're in the same situation as iOS 12. There's no kernel level exploits available for that firmware either. So really, it's just a waiting game until something like that is released to know uh, which way to go either iOS 11 or iOS 12. So ultimately the choice is up to you if you want to upgrade. As for me personally, I'm just saying put jailbroken on 11.3.1 and saving blobs so I can upgrade to iOS 12.0.1 even after the signing window has closed in the future. Um, and I'm doing this so I can kind of document my progress and I'll let you guys know if I'm successful at actually upgrading to that firmware in the future. So 
<laughs> this is really my first time using blobs. We'll see how it goes. Um, and yeah, I will keep you guys posted. If you guys want more information about blobs, definitely check out my latest video. I went into more depth of how those are used and what they're used for. And also, if you guys want a tutorial on how to downgrade from iOS 12.1 to iOS 12.0.1, also check out my other video. I did a video specifically on how to do that as well. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video on the Unified Jailbreak Me project and how really it's not going to be leading to an iOS 12 jailbreak. I hope this video helped out and was informational and if you guys enjoyed this video, definitely give it a thumbs up um, and definitely subscribe if you want to stay up to date on the latest information pertaining to jailbreaking. Hopefully we get a new kernel level exploit and more information about an iOS 12 jailbreak sooner than later. I'm super stoked to jailbreak say my iPad Pro or my iPhone XS Max. I can't wait for a jailbreak for that device, honestly. Anyway, guys, thank you again so much for watching. Lastly, as a quick update, I just wanted to let everyone know that we're working very hard here at iCrack Your Device to make this channel into something special. So during the next few months, we're going to be trying a lot of new things, bringing you guys a more diverse set of content aside from just jailbreaking. Now, of course, jailbreaking is always going to remain close in our hearts, but at the same time, we really want to expand our content variety. So if you guys have any recommendations or something interesting you'd like to see from us, definitely let us know down below in the comments section. This channel would not be possible without all of you. Anyway, thank you so much for being great fans. Myself and Tanner are very excited to see where this next year takes us. Have a great day, guys. Thanks for watching, but until next time, this is Tony, signing out.